Hi, uh, I'm Adriana Baranek, CEO of Miadria Group, and here with me again is Madam Baranek, our, our CTO. Hi. Hi. Uh, we are building users, as you know, to all companies, easy access to public cloud and ability to migrate, backup, and automate all the public cloud functions from all public cloud providers. Um, but um, this is a little bit different video because we decided to play the devil's advocate today and talk about one specific software as a service solution and what it offers. Uh, if you watch our previous previous videos, you will know that the question that we pose in the title of this video uh, is possible to build a G Suite Enterprise solution on premise is um, a sarcastical one. And obviously the answer is no. Uh, but um, if you are attracted because you are the one building your own data center at this day and age uh, in 2019, um, uh, we think that uh, it would still be a good idea for you to listen to our video. Uh, so, Mladen, can you tell us more about G Suite Enterprise and what it has to offer? Oh, G Suite comes in uh, many plans, basic business and enterprise and always offer amazing value that we talked in more details in some of our previous videos and we will for sure talk more about uh, in the future again but today we focus on <coughs> enterprise plan uh, however i would like uh, just to stress that g suite basic and business offer full enterprise capabilities as well but enterprise is like icing on the cake that we wanted to single out today so enterprise plan includes many advanced security features that are important for companies. For instance, data regions for a larger companies spanning across many continents to fulfill this requirement would be extremely costly and would require significant real estate investment in addition to investing in technology that is worth less every day. Uh, uh, equipment is evolving rapidly so uh, the top of the line technology that uh, you bring on premise today will be kind of worthless and obsolete in few years uh, for companies that value security above all enterprise plan offers for instance cloud identity premium service uh, this service offers various security um, uh, uh, policies, uh, application management, network management, application auditing, mobile audit, uh, mobile device management rules, and um, you can even use uh, Google Secure LDAP uh, for your legacy applications. These are just examples of features that are included in the enterprise plan. Mm -hmm. Um, so this security part is very interesting. Um, many people are still very afraid of moving their workloads to cloud because they believe the data is not secure in the cloud. Can you please comment on that? There is good comparison regarding the bank and the public cloud. Uh, if you keep your money at home, it might be close to you, but it will be prone to burglary and all the accidents that can happen at home. Uh, if you keep it at the bank, they hold it in a big safe and they will keep your money from trouble. Uh, keeping, uh, keeping it uh, in simple terms, uh, 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 the, the, the public cloud is the bank for your mm -hmm. data. Uh, public cloud provides uh, security very seriously and uh, uh, public cloud providers employ best security experts in the world. So Google alone has several hundred of leading security experts, and we are talking about PhD level experts on their staff. They were the ones who discovered many uh, security issues, even mm -hmm. with Intel CPUs, with mm -hmm. uh, internet protocols, and they are on the forefront. So the, they, they will uh, for sure mitigate many security risks that will still be present in on-prem deployments long after they are uh, publicly announced mm -hmm. and even uh, after some exploits uh, starts to uh, be in the wild. So uh, the, the other thing, for, for, for example, enterprise plan has uh, uh, advanced data loss prevention for Gmail and Drive included. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
uh, in addition to having uh, full control over your required rules, you also get the ability to monitor and report on potential violations in mm -hmm. easy and user-friendly manner. Mm -hmm. Th there is also a support for S-MIME uh, email encryption, so you, you, you can manage keys for uh, uh, specific uh, uh, users and they can assign and authenticate their mails uh, of, of additionally to all the encryption that is inherent to mm -hmm. uh, uh, G Suite and uh, Gmail. Th there is also uh, a service called Vault, so that is uh, another example of amazing service. Uh, uh, it provides you with e-discovery services for your legal holds and it uh, allows you to keep all relevant information for as long as uh, it is required. Mm -hmm. Uh, having e-discovery on-prem is extremely costly and requires extensive investment uh, in both hardware and especially in software and administration. Usually companies running on-prem installations will not have proper e-discovery in place at all mm -hmm. due, due to the uh, complexities. Mm -hmm. I get it. Uh, so, uh, Enterprise Plan uh, of G Suite also has one very interesting application, and that is called AppMaker. Can you mm -hmm. tell us more about it? You love this development part and technology, and uh, mm -hmm. I think that AppMaker will be a great topic for you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, many large companies have a need to create custom applications for their various uh, needs. In order to do that, they have to invest in uh, application development, they have to provide hardware resources uh, that are appropriate for uh, uh, applications uh, they need and uh, with the G Suite they get both uh, uh, scripting capabilities mm -hmm. through uh, Google Apps Script and they get AppMaker application that is suited for uh, uh, different professionals. So, uh, even people uh, using G Suite uh, fr from other professions, not, not IT, mm -hmm. uh, uh, IT field and uh, not coders, mm -hmm. are able to develop their own applications mm -hmm. and they are uh, kind of empowered. Uh, so, uh, on-prem usually pe people would develop uh, Excel uh, macros, Visual Basic mm -hmm. for application stuff and automate some things on a personal level mm -hmm. but with G Suite suddenly through AppMaker uh, uh, people get uh, opportunity to automate company-wide processes that they can integrate identity and uh, collaboration and uh, uh, security uh, rules into their application without a lot of development effort. Mm -hmm. So th there is a very nice UI. You, you are able to connect uh, uh, databases with forms and suddenly you empower your, uh, your employees to develop applications on their uh, own. So mm -hmm. a, a lot of business processes can, can be managed that way. Mm -hmm. I especially like this democratization part because working in a large organization and if you're in the business line or if you're in a support line like finance division, usually you're just held hostage to the IT and you're held hostage to their ability to uh, um, give you some up, up and to solve some of your problems. And this up maker is really putting the uh, uh, leverage back uh, into the hand mm -hmm. of uh, the business line and I, I just love that. Yeah, so th this uh, G Suite Enterprise comes with big query, mm -hmm. so it's kind of batteries included and mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, uh, in a lot of situations people used to export data into mm -hmm. uh, Access or some other database and mm -hmm. then combine it with Excel and uh, try to manage uh, uh, reporting. Mm -hmm. With G Suite you get ability to handle millions and li literally billions mm -hmm. of rows using BigQuery that is connected to uh, 
uh, G Suite Sheets application. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, 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 it's kind of a uh, um, uh, integration that is uh, uh, very well suited for uh, analyzing data for, mm -hmm. for financial uh, uh, departments and for uh, any expert uh, who needs to do data analysis and even to, to some extent uh, business intelligence. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is really um, essential uh, that companies um, have such services. And uh, when you um, use your cloud services, one of the important things um, might be to track how these cloud services are used. And this is something not, that is not really possible to do fully or is extremely costly when you're on premise. But in cloud, you're paying by usage, so it will definitely be an issue to cover. Can you tell us how this is handled in Enterprise Edition? Mm -hmm. So, uh, traditionally in on-prem environments, mm -hmm. you had to install agents on PCs, mm -hmm. you, you had to install some central component that would collect telemetry and data, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, then you would get kind of a limited insight on wh what is going on uh, with the uh, workflows and of what your uh, uh, what your users are actually doing. So with G Suite, mm -hmm. you get uh, with, with G Suite Enterprise, you get work insights mm -hmm. where you can suddenly see v without installing any agents, w without bothering your users, which applications are used, how mm -hmm. people are uh, accessing your uh, um, uh, 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 G Suite framework. You, you can see how they collaborate how they uh, uh, work together mm -hmm. so you, you can uh, um, get all the insights without basically installing anything mm -hmm. on uh, uh, on-prem equipment. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So yeah, and uh, in a way we can say that this ability to gather insight on how your people uh, are working, how they are collaborating, how they are innovating, what they are doing, is also extending the ability of the organization to uh, perform and to be innovative, to introduce uh, new products on the market quickly. And uh, those tools really have the potential to uh, increase the, uh, uh, your ability to survive in the market. Uh, I think that this is uh, an amazing value that uh, you get from using the cloud-based services like G Suite Enterprise. So uh, G Suite is made by Google. So mm -hmm. I guess that searching your data should be very easy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about it? So, uh, cloud search is part of uh, Google G Suite in business and enterprise plans, mm -hmm. and it allows you to search across all your G Suite services and data. Yeah, you can find and contact your colleagues. Uh, it can recommend you proactively what you need. You can search across all devices, and uh, this search is also secure by design. Uh, there are also connectors uh, to search data on-prem and mm -hmm. from other silos. Amazing. So, yeah, that, that's, that is... Basically, it's kind of uh, google.com in your data center and for, for your mm -hmm. applications and data. Cool. So, uh, uh, since we are developing users that is primarily multi-cloud, mm -hmm. um, um, how well does Google play with others? Why are we singling out the G Suite Enterprise? And is it possible to easily use G Suite with other solutions? Mm -hmm. So uh, Google distinguishes themselves with their mul uh, full multi-cloud driving that is uh, obvious in all of their services. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, in G Suite Enterprise, you can integrate third-party uh, SSO systems with G Suite directly from the admin console mm -hmm. or use Google login to log into other solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, from uh, uh, many cloud services, there is also automated provisioning of users from G Suite to other services. Mm -hmm. uh, since G Suite Enterprise supports uh, secure 
uh, LDAP, it is possible to integrate older applications that require it without using legacy on-prem Active Directory mm -hmm. infrastructure. Regarding Office applications, G Suite offers collaboration even on Microsoft Office format documents, mm -hmm. as well as uh, import and export to appropriate G Suite applications. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this uh, multi-cloud approach is multi-layered kind mm -hmm. of, and it tackles uh, integration of identity, mm -hmm. uh, data formats, import exports, and uh, yeah, so uh, I would say that with G Suite Enterprise, you are multi-cloud ready. Amazing. And uh, also, if uh, a company is uh, considering the cloud but reluctant to make a full switch to the cloud, uh, how suited is G, and G Suite in general and G Suite mm -hmm. Enterprise in particular to be used while you are transitioning to the cloud? Mm -hmm. So G Suite allows you to take as many steps at the time as you wish. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can keep your on-prem installation working for some time and have dual delivery or split delivery of your emails. Mm -hmm. It can be integrated with other applications as needed and at the same time, security of the service and reporting abilities will extend your existing and on-prem installations. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And, um, well, for the end, to come back mm -hmm. to the, uh, the title of this video, can you build G Suite Enterprise on-premise? Well, not really. You can try and spend a ton of money and still uh, from both the security point and the feature point, uh, you will never get close. Mm -hmm. uh, co companies that are not in the business of uh, you know, software and technology should not be trying uh, to play Don Quixote and uh, should focus on their business while using the best in the public cloud arena. So, yeah. we are multi-cloud, so not only G Suite Enterprise, but uh, other cloud public services offer myriad of possibilities as well. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I mean, feel free to contact us and ask us about uh, what uh, solution you need, what problems you have, what problems you would like to have solved, and we can help you with that. So, uh, thank you so much, Mlad, and uh, we talked about G Suite Enterprise today, and I'm proud to announce that we, we are both from yesterday Google Cloud certified as uh, professional collaboration engineers uh, by Google. And we have many more uh, certifications in, uh, with other public cloud vendors, so we are very excited about that. Uh, we are still working on the Uzwais and uh, stay tuned, uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, um, hit the little bell of course so that you get updates for our new videos and uh, we will see you very soon. Thank you Martin for taking your time today and uh, for keeping me company and answering my questions. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. See you soon.